So you just got a guitar and want to learn your first song. Well, I got something for you. This is probably the best song for beginners. By the end of this video you'll learn how to play a horse with no name, a huge all-time hit by America. You could afford it in many movies and most notably in the Breaking Bad TV series. This song has only two chords, so you will have no trouble learning and memorizing it. And this strumming pattern is very common and you will be able to use it in hundreds of other songs. I'll teach you two variations. One is for total beginners and another one is a little bit more advanced. You will also learn a simple but essential trick. It's gonna make your guitar playing sound more stylish and professional. My name is Dennis and you are watching First Fret Lessons. Our goal is to help you become the guitarist people will want to listen to. If you are new here, subscribe, we post free lessons every week. And let's go! Let me show you the chords first. Our first chord is E minor. We use the middle and the ring finger of the 2nd fret of the A and the D strings. All of the other strings are left open. One more time. Our 2nd chord is D6 at 9. It may sound scary, but don't worry, it's really easy to play. You just move your middle finger to the 2nd fret of the low E and move your ring finger to the 2nd fret of the G. And be sure to mute your A string with this finger as well. It won't be too bad if uh, the A string is ringing, but as you can hear it sounds a little bit dirty this way. Ok, now that you know the chords, let me show you an easy strumming pattern here. If you are a beginner, you can start with it. Here is the most common strumming pattern ever. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down. And it's used this song perfectly. One more time. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. You can mute your strings with your left hand and practice this. Down, down, up, up, down, up. You don't have to hold this chord till the very last bit. You can lift your fingers on the last top strum and switch the shape while you play open strings. Like this. Down, down, up, up, down, up. You will have more time to switch chords this way. It's a common trick and you can use it in any song from now on. Now let's make our strumming pattern a little bit harder. We are going to play bass on our first down instead of strumming the whole chord. And now our strumming pattern looks like this. Be sure to hold your pick tighter when you play bass, it will sound too weak otherwise. And as I told you, squeeze your thumb and index finger on your right hand. And relax these two fingers after that, when you start strumming. Or you will sound too loud and rough, like this. And now I will combine all these two ideas. Bass, relax, bass, relax, bass, relax, bass, relax. Now let's add some accents to our strumming. It's really important to do it because it makes your playing feel more lively. So guys, if you enjoyed this video so far, check the link in description down below. You'll find 5 free lessons from us, which are not available on YouTube. 
and leave a comment what else you want us to cover on acoustic guitar. And now I'm gonna add accents on our second beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two. You need to play more powerful with your right wrist. You can mute your strings and practice like this. And I believe it's the best way to practice stuff like this. Okay, now let me show you an original strumming pattern. If it is hard for you, you can stick with the previous one for now and come back later. So guys, let me show you. We add one more down strum when we play the E minor chords. Just throw your right hand wrist and touch your string with your palm at the same time. Like this. You should practice this move. And when you play your percussive sound, don't forget to relax your left hand. Don't press your string in that moment. And after, press your chord again. When we play the second chord, we add one more up strum in the beginning. And this percussive stuff again. As I told you, you should instantly relax your left hand after you play it, so it doesn't keep ringing and hit the muted strings down after that, like this. And now we can play it together one more time and play the original strum pattern. One, two, three, four. As you can see, there are a lot of nuances here. A lot of beginners tend to ignore them and be like, why would I learn this song? It's so simple. And they sound like this. When it should sound like this. So never ignore the basics and don't try to play hard stuff until you are comfortable with songs like this. As a little bonus, I would like to show you a slight variation you can hear sometimes. I'm not sure if it's a guitar or bass doing it, but it sounds great either way. When you play the second chord, you can move your middle finger to the second fret of the A string during the last two strums. like this. And don't forget to mute your low E string with your middle finger. Just touch it with your tip of the middle finger. It doesn't happen every single time. But keep this trick in mind, it can spy things up from time to time. There are tons of mistakes you can make while you play basic chords on acoustic guitar. Check these two videos to fix them. One is dedicated to your strumming and another to your fretting hand.